name is Jessica. Welcome back and thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Okay, so this is a look right here. This is a whole new look. Y'all probably click on this video like, is this is this the same girl? I literally just transformed from my normal look to something fun and festive. I figured because this is Fenty Galaxy Collection, why not have fun, girl? Rihanna literally just came back and snatched all of our edges right when they started to grow after the last launch. Our follicles was just starting to sprout and she was just like, ain't no edges. She snatched them. There wasn't even enough time to raise our credit score before this launch, but she didn't care because she was bringing back that heat. And to all of y'all that was complaining that there was no palettes in her first collection, she shut you down. She came out with this palette right here. First of all, like, isn't this like dreams in a in a package? Like, look at how the packaging, like I could, I literally was lost for words when I opened this because first thing I thought when I opened this palette, like I couldn't, I was speechless, but then I noticed that my nails in this palette were like twinsies, like they're, they're twinning on us, even though I need a feel. But I just love that whole holographic, this is so, even if this was not a palette, like I would literally just prop this in my little background I might just do that. She came out with this palette, which includes 14 glitter eyeshadows. A whole palette with glitter eyeshadows. I was a little like, what, like where are we going with this? But nonetheless, I had to pick it up because the first launch was fire. So I was like, I'm not missing out on the second launch. She also dropped an eyeshadow brush that goes with this, which I did not pick up. She came out with three liquid eyeliners, which I didn't pick up as well. Now I'm regretting it. She came out with four lipsticks, which I didn't pick up. And she also came out with, I believe, four lip glosses. And I picked up two out of four. So this is the look that I created using the new Fenty Galaxy collection. And if you're interested in seeing how it worked for me and my final thoughts on it, let's dive into the video. So I'm gonna prime my eyelids with this NARS Creamy Concealer. It's their matte concealer. I can't find my MAC paint pot, so I'm gonna just have to go in with this. So this palette doesn't come with any mattes, so I'm gonna go in with my Jaclyn Hill palette, which is a gorgeous palette. I think I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, that terracotta shade. So I'm just gonna take my brush, sweep this all across my crease. This is going to be my transition color. I'm gonna go back into that palette and I'm gonna go into this shade right here. So I have this Tarte Holiday Collection. It's super pretty and I think I'm gonna use one of the colors in this palette. I'm really digging this shade right here, this dark shade. Okay, so I'm gonna go into this shade. It's called Palace and I'm gonna put that right in my crease. Okay, so I'm gonna go back into that palette and this shade right here, it's called Scenic. This is the shade I think would be really cute to add some definition and depth in my crease. So I'm gonna go into this really dark shade and just apply it right in that crease. So I'm gonna go back into that NARS concealer just so that I can define that crease a bit more and then also to add more of a base so that the shadows, the galaxy shadows can kind of have something to adhere to. All right, so moving on to the palette. Isn't this so gorgeous, you guys? Like, I've already been playing in it so you can see the fingerprints and stuff, but when I first opened her, I was just like, uh, I actually filmed this look yesterday, but I hated it. <laughs> so I'm refilming it today. Although it's glittery, I still feel like you could kind of get away with wearing some of these every day because simply you could just take your finger and then pat it onto your eyelid and just go. Um, it's very everyday wearable. The shades are gorgeous, like seriously pretty shades. So I'm trying to figure out what do I want to do? Like yesterday I played around with what did I play with the purples? But I'm thinking, because I have short blonde hair today, let's do, let's play around with the greens and let's see how that sh that's gonna show up on my skin tone. So when you swatch them, the, they come up very, very easily. As you can see, that's a gorgeous shade. I'm, I'm gonna play around with that one. 
My only issue is that the names aren't on the palette. And so if I wanted to reference it in the video, I have to look behind the palette and that just gets confusing and I don't have time for that. So I just wish they would have put the names right under or beside or in between the shadow so you, you know what you're using. But the shadow that I'm going to go into first is this one right here, which is like this minty frosty shade, that one right there. So you guys can see it on my hand right there. That's the one I'm gonna go into first. So we're gonna go into ultraviolet onto our lid. I am gonna wet my brush because it swatches good, but I don't know how well it's gonna show up. Sometimes glitter can get lost in translation, so I'm just gonna wet my brush just in case. I'm literally trying to go in with a light hand so that I don't get the glitter all over the place. But I will say, I'm not getting a whole bunch of fallout, which is surprising because glitter tends to be everywhere. All right, you guys, so this is ultraviolet on my eyelid. I feel like it showed up pretty well. Um, Definitely use a base when you are playing with these shadows because I kind of feel like they won't show as intense. But if you want a more subtle look, then you don't have to wet your brush and you probably won't even need to use a base. But if you want something to intensify it, I would definitely say use a base as well as wet your brush and it'll give off more of a foily look as opposed to more of a shimmery look, if that makes sense. But I'm definitely loving this color. Surprisingly enough, that was easy to work with. Um, as you can see, I don't have a lot of fallout on my face, which is kind of strange because <laughs> glitter tends to just, you know what I'm saying? It gets everywhere, but I definitely love this color. So next I'm gonna go in with Planet X, which is this green shade at the top. And I'm going to add that just on top of this shade. Ooh, that is really pretty. You guys, this color is so gorgeous. Look at that. I just feel like this look calls for lashes, even though normally you guys know I don't wear lashes because I'm just that girl who just likes to go. But I'm just thinking, why not just take it all the way there today? So I'm going to use these lashes by Ardell. These are their 600 Wispies. I love these lashes. So yeah, I'm gonna apply them off camera and I'll be right back. All right, lashes are on and I also went ahead and lined my eyes with my Rimmel Black Eyeliner. Now I'm gonna begin my face makeup and you guys have seen me use the Fenty Beauty uh, foundation, primer, concealer and all that stuff. So I'm gonna kind of speed through this part and then I'll come back to the products that I haven't used yet. So I'm going to highlight slash blush with this stick right here. This is the Matchstick and Confetti. And you guys saw my reaction when I swatched it the last time uh, when I did my Fenty review, but I think this is so gorgeous. And I think it might look well with this look. So I'm just going to apply this first with my finger, rubbing it in the stick and then just dabbing it. And I'm doing this before I set my concealer. That is so pretty. So it's not too much, it's very subtle, but you still get that, that hit of purple and I really, really love it. Okay, so now I'm going to set my face with my Sasha Buttercup. I haven't used this in a while.
So I'm gonna go back into the Galaxy palette and I'm going to take this shade right here for my inner corners. And this shade is called Ozone, so I think that would make a really gorgeous inner highlight. I'm gonna smoke my bottom lash line out using this shade in this Tarte palette. It's called Souvenir. And I, it's like a dark green, so I think that might be a good color to use. I didn't buy the eyeliners that came with this collection, so I'm trying to give that same effect. Now the eyeliners, the liquid eyeliners are so dope. They basically are like a liquid eyeliner and then you can manipulate it to give off a metallic or glitter effect. And I did test it out when I was in Sephora, but I kind of just felt like I wasn't going to use it often. Should have bought it, but I was just like, I'm not going to use it often. There's a nude one. You guys, that new one is gorgeous. I don't know why I didn't buy it, but I might um, go back and repurchase it because I do believe that it is limited edition and I just think the concept is dope. The color is bomb. So since I didn't buy it, I'm just trying to give that same effect. Okay, so we're moving on to lips and I bought two lip glosses from the collection. Now it comes with four lip gloss in this collection and I believe it comes with four lipsticks as well. I didn't want the lipsticks just because I didn't feel like I would wear them that often, but the lip glosses for sure I know I would wear. So the two shades that I picked up were, this shade right here is Platonic Relationship, and this one is a gorgeous, like, iridescent hot pink color. I love this one. I'm just gonna try it on so you guys can see how it looks. Okay, so this is Platonic Relationships. And as you can see, the color payoff is not that bad because I don't have anything, I don't have a base underneath, but you can definitely put a base underneath and then go on top with this gloss. But I feel like it's just as cute without anything, like alone, this is so pretty. It's very moisturizing. It, it's not that sticky type of lip gloss. It's basically the same formula as this one right here, so. Yeah, I really like this color. So the next lip gloss is Gal on the Moon and I really love this color. It's a dark, like purpley, plummy, with like all of these different like green and blue reflex in it. All right, so this is Gal on the Moon. Super gorgeous, you guys. All right, you guys, so this is the completed look using Fenty Beauty and their new Galaxy collection. This is definitely a look that's outside of my norm, kind of outside of my comfort zone, but you know what? Makeup is supposed to be fun, and I think this collection definitely embodies that. So here's my thoughts on the palette. I think the palette is absolutely gorgeous. First of all, the packaging is A1. Oh my God, this packaging. Let's talk about how it matches my nails. Isn't that gorgeous? Uh, I will say that the packaging is literally one of the best um, palette packaging that I've ever seen. I think it's super just futuristic and very, it, it definitely gives off that whole galaxy thing. The shadows themselves, I feel like are really good shadows. I think they are everyday wearable. If you look at the campaigns, most of the women in the campaigns or models in the campaigns are just wearing like one shade over their lids. And again, we're going back to that simplistic beauty that Fenty Beauty embodies. So when you think of a glitter palette, you don't think of everyday wearable, but I actually, you guys, I feel like this is definitely something that you could wear every day. It's not something that's too crazy. The pigments are amazing. Like they literally come up really real, well when you swatch them. You can definitely wear these shadows on like a regular day when you're not doing as much. I would just say for a more subtle look, add don't add any water to your brush or apply it with your finger would probably give you a more subtle look um, than if you were to go in and do what I did today. I would say my only issue with this palette is the fact that there aren't any matte shades in here. I mean, I definitely can use everything in this palette and I feel like it is everyday wearable depending on your personal style. But if you're that girl who wants a palette where it has all your needs in it and you can travel with it and do your everyday looks, this may not be your palette, especially because she is expensive, okay? She is $59 for this palette, which I think packaging wise, presentation, it's worth it if you buy makeup at Sephora and you kind of see what's available, then it, it is worth it. However, for it only having glitter shades, I gotta be honest, this is just my personal opinion. I feel like the price is a little steep, girl. $59 for an all glitter palette. Like, I'ma be real. I would normally never pay $59 to 
for a glitter palette like ever. But Fenty Beauty did not disappoint in the first launch, so I figured if it's $59, it must be worth it. And I feel like it is worth it to a certain degree, uh, but it really just depends on your whole your whole style when it comes to makeup, but it is definitely a pricey palette. Overall, I'll give this palette for the presentation and quality because, I, again, I didn't have any fallout really with glitters and I was surprised because most glitter palettes or more, most glitter eyeshadows tend to like fall out and make create a mess, but this one didn't do that. I would give it an 8.5 to 9 out of 10. I think that's fair considering there aren't any mattes in here, but otherwise, it's a gorgeous palette. Okay, so let's talk about the Cosmic Glosses. These, however, are worth the money. They are a little expensive, they're $19, but again, these aren't like normal, regular lip glosses. I feel like they're super fun, great for holiday. The color payoff on these is A1. All right, you guys, so that is my first impression slash review slash demo tutorial on the new Fenty Galaxy collection. I mean, I think it's a gorgeous collection. Again, it's holiday. I'm excited for the holiday to be all festive with my makeup. This is more than what I normally do. But this is this is fun, especially her rocking her with a with a blonde short wig. Let me know how you guys are digging this look in the comment section down below. And also let me know, have you tried any of these products? Are you going to try you some new Fenty Galaxy? Let me know. If you enjoyed this video, why not give me a thumbs up, girl? Thumbs up if you want to see more makeup tutorials slash reviews and first impressions. And then also subscribe if you have not, which if you've watched this video, for this long, I'm, I'm sure you have, but if you haven't, girl, go ahead and subscribe right there. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.